morning, welcome back. We're back here on New Way, Peg 2 again. Just here for 24 hours. Once again, Barry were going to come, but he forgot he was going on a cruise to Norway. I think he really enjoyed it. We went to Gaudel the other week. Catch you well. He ended up with the one catfish I had too. But overall, it was a fun 24 hours. So here, at the minute, I think there's one guy in Peg 7, but I believe he's due to leave today. And then I will be... On the lake on my own. The swans have started already. It's been an absolute pain. Swimming over your lines all the time. They haven't dived on any bait yet, thankfully, but there's still time. I'm just trying to try to trickle it in when they've disappeared to the other side of the lake so they can't they don't see it, but they'll probably hear it because I think they've got quite a good sense of hearing. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Got the got the usual rigs. So I've got three three inch stiff rigs. Um, one on what I call a pretty spot and one just sort of on the edge of this island and then I've got they have a faithful runny rig smack bang in the middle which is where I caught no it wasn't where I caught big girl from last time actually that were off the pretty spot but yeah I did catch big girl off the island many many years ago well a couple of years ago in uh, a session in March what me and Chris did and it absolutely, well, it snowed, it was freezing, but a, very, a good session overall. I ended up catching seven, big girl being the biggest, and a, and a PB, 28 and a half. Stupid swans. But yeah, we'll see what happens. It's, it's only early, I've not been here very long, just got set up. Finally figured out how to work this new microphone. Uh, but yeah, the rods are all out, so I'm going to put kettle on. The geese are a bit loud and annoying, but... Hey ho, we'll see what happens. I have seen a couple of fish jumping, sort of in and around the, the spot, so with a bit of luck, we'll catch a few. Thankfully, since my last visit, none of the three remaining fish that I want to catch out of here have been caught, which is a good thing. Although I know the, the pretty one, which is the main one that I want, came out twice in April. So um, it maybe only does four or five bites a year. So the, the chances of it coming out, you know, like a month after being caught twice, probably, I'm going to say unlikely. But there's still a wall what I haven't caught yet. And then there's still the queen of New Air. Uh, which would be a new PB and the first 30 pound cart for me. I don't know when um, AWOL came out last, but I know the, the Queen came out last, last April. So it's, it's not been out in over a year. AWOL obviously got its name for not being caught, I think it was for about two years. Uh, and now the Queen seems to be following suit. I know the last time it came out was this peg albeit it's only been out three times while it's been in this lake. So, again, the chances of that <coughs> oh, probably slim. I thought we was away then. Um, looks like a trailer. Just running through my lines. But yeah, um, I don't know when AWOL last came out. 
it is one fish that I would like to catch, along with obviously the pretty one. The pretty one being the, the main target, so to speak. It last came out at 29.10, I believe it was. It's, well, if, if that's weighed correctly, that's the biggest it's ever been. I've ever been caught. So if that's true, it's obviously been piling on the weight over the winter. Um, I don't believe they've spawned yet in here. Obviously we've had that sort of week of really nice weather and then last the weekend just gone it's been 22 24 degrees all weekend um so i was a bit like are they gonna are they gonna spawn but then yesterday and today it's cooled down you know sort of eight degrees and six to eight degrees or so um and then it absolutely peed it down all day yesterday and it's going to be raining a bit here and there today so it has cooled down a bit i know this part of the lake is the deeper end. I mainly fish this peg because I've been doing like a bit of research and I've I found out from God knows how many, I think something like 45 previous captures what I could find. It's come from this peg the most. Followed by sort of peg three, which is next door. Peg one, peg six has done a few. And then obviously Chris did catch it from this peg on the spot, what I call the pretty spot. So I'm edging my bets every time I come to fish this peg. Every, well, every time I do fish this peg, I tend to fish the same three spots and generally do pretty well. Um, but having seen Chris caught it in this peg um, off that spot, <clears throat> you know, it, it does obviously feed on that spot. And I know for a fact that another guy that used to fish on this peg, he used to fish this peg every weekend. He, I think he caught it three or four times over the course of God knows how long. And he tend generally caught off from this same spot as well so I know it's this like I said earlier this is the deeper side of the lake but when Chris caught her you know it was July it was summer through the day it was you know 20 some degrees warm on a night and he caught her at something like three o'clock in the morning something like that when it had been really warm through the day so you never know you know it's not a big pond they do get around you could catch you know you Big girl who comes out pretty regular, capturing this peg one day, next peg she's in, next catcher, I don't know, a couple of days later, it's peg five or something like that. So they do get about. I suppose it's one side of it is, you know, knowing your spots, knowing your areas where to put your rigs, and then the other, I always say it is luck, it is a bit of luck. You know, you can present your rigs and your, your bait in, in an area you know the feed, but you can't always determine what fish is going to pick up your rig. So, but on that, I've got a rig on two other spots. What I mean, I have no data on this, but I know Chris caught her on this rig, and the other guy, what used to fish his peg all the time, he caught her on this sill on this rig, which is a hinge dip rig. So, you can only try and put things in your favour, you know, fish the peg, fish the spot, fish the rigs, and who knows. Who knows? So I'm gonna put kettle on. The swans have finally disappeared, so I've managed to get some bait in over my other two rods. I was waiting for them to disappear. Uh, the right-hand rod, which is the one that keeps sort of getting the liners and stuff. So yeah, still early days. We'll see what we can do, see what we can catch. not a lot to report so far over then we've had well a lot of rain it was due today but i think the sun is still is now trying to come out still i've seen a few fish showing and stuff like that um the gardener who now works here for three days a week he's just been around doing some bits of work i got talking to him so apparently they have spawned they spawned two weeks ago sort of over towards peg, peg six and then 
sort of late last week or middle of last week they were spawning sort of in between these two pegs now I had no idea that they'd been spawning um, if I'd have known I probably wouldn't have come but people obviously people have still been fishing it um, I don't think a, a great deal has been coming out but I think he said the majority had, had spawned sort of like the two weeks ago so fingers crossed that's all over and done with now I've, I mean I've not seen any signs of it today while I've been here stupid swans um, so yeah like I was saying hopefully the, the majority of it's over and done with and they are hungering on the feed and looking for some food after after spawning apparently there were three fish that were found dead you know in the edges that are washed up sort of thing after the spawning not up to reporters yet it has finally stopped raining the sun is trying to come out so I'm, I might have a, a little wander around, around the lake see if I can sort of see any more fish and decide whether my uh, my peg choice was a good one or a bad one although I have seen fish jumping here they're just obviously not getting onto the bait as yet but keep these crossed and you never know Again, still nothing to report. Um, I thought when the sun came out, to be fair, they'd, they'd all be sort of at the back of the island, just to the side of light up, peg six and seven. So I thought I'll, I'll put my drone up because I wanted to get some more drone footage of the, the lake anyway. And I found them all, well, not all of them, but there must have been 30 or 40 fish in front of peg eight. Um, and then out of the blue, it just sort of became black in front of me with copious amounts of carp. But all I seem to be uh, interested in at the minute is sunbathing or catching some rays. So still fruitless. It's only, well, it's three o'clock, five to three. So we've still got all night, all, all of tomorrow morning till up to 11 o'clock till I've got to go home to try and make something happen. Um, plenty of fish coming in and out, they're just not particularly getting, or you know, going to where, where I've got my rigs and where the bait is. So whether they've got other things on the mind, I don't know. Maybe some of them haven't spawned yet and they're still, you know, that's that could be happening anytime soon. Um, fingers crossed it's not. But yeah, fruitless, pretty much sat here all day watching them swim around. They've even been swimming, coming as close as to the bank <laughs> and swimming under my rods, waving at me, giving it one of them and swimming off. So, well, that's how it feels like anyway. But like I say, I, I do think, I do think it'll happen tonight, you know, seven, eight o'clock through, through the hours of darkness till, till the uh, uh, early morning. Uh, well, I hope I'm right anyway, but yeah, you never know, we'll keep going, we'll keep trying. Um, it's fishing, I guess, isn't it? Can't catch them all the time, but it is always nice. Right, so I ain't done a piece at camera for a good few hours now because I've literally had nothing to tell you. The coots have been picking up the middle rod or the, the rig on the middle rod about 19 million times. The swans have now come back, the old nemesis. Three of them did disappear off up there and the whole one left, so I'll try to, I've just redone all the rods, so I'll try to um, get some bait out every time he put his head under water so he will not hear him or he, she, whichever, wouldn't hear it. I've had a rod 
right down in this left corner. I weighed it out as far as I could before I got stuck in silt. Cast it into the corner, it's been in there for a couple of hours. That has done absolutely nothing. Still seeing the odd fish, you know, swimming through. Still get the odd liner. But I'm pretty much convinced now that, well, all them fish that we could see over there earlier are probably going to be down that side at lake now. The sun's setting over that side, so that's sort of getting the, the last bit of the the heat, the sun for the evening. Um, yeah, it's been an absolute shit show to be honest. That was gone to plan. I ain't done anything different from the last time I came. The only thing different is the weather, and obviously I know that play, that plays a massive part in, in you know carp fishing. The honest, well, the gardener for the lake said some of the fish had spawned. Maybe there's some that are still that haven't, so they're you know they haven't got feeding on their mind at the minute or whatever. I don't know. I was a hundred, well, 99% sure. If anything, I'd probably catch a grass carp. And yeah, I've not even caught one of them. Obviously, I've seen they give themselves away really easily because they just sit there with the dorsal fin sitting out of the water and just sort of slow back down like a submarine. But yeah. So got tonight, it's quarter past eight. Obviously I've got while 11 o'clock tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I just hope that, you know, can produce something tonight and it's not a complete waste of my time, your time watching this video. It's never a waste of time fishing, is it? Swans again. Never a waste of time fishing. Just, you know, every time you go out, you learn something. When you find something different and new, it's always nice to catch. It frustrates me when I'm not catching, but that's, you know, that is the reality of fishing. I try to keep these videos as let's say, realistic, let's say, as possible. So, I don't know, some people might film this session and, you know, if they're blank, just not put it on YouTube. But I, I try not to do that because the reality is people do go fishing, people do blank. Up to now, I am blanking. I have I've blanked tons in the past. I'm, you know, I'm not just going to put videos on of when I catch or do really well or anything like that, I like to. This is, you know, this series, it's called The Quest for the Pretty One. And this is part and parcel of said quest, you know. You're gonna have your good days, you're gonna have your bad days, you're gonna have your terrible days. And so far today's been a terrible day. I'm gonna stop waiting, I'm gonna put my kettle on. I'm just waiting for these swans to disappear so I can put some more bait out on my left hand rod. And they are set for the night. Well, that's it, time for home. 24 hours done. Not more to say than it's been a bit poo. <clears throat> We've got a peg choice with the weather. Um, fish had other ideas. Some of them are yet to spawn, probably, but I don't know. Uh, it's been a bit depressing to be fair. <clears throat> Come for a good session last month, and then obviously did the catfishing. Thought we were really successful and then I've been looking forward to this for a while and then it when it comes and it's not that good it's very you know it's disappointing but that's fishing I guess at times so I'm going home now um probably be back out towards the end of this month I don't know if it'll be back here or catfishing again because nobody wants to go do that again so we'll see but uh if you like any of the content on this channel uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. Um, and I'll leave a link to some videos here. Until next time, I'll see you later.